Hey there. Are you or someone you know struggling with ADHD? Well, you're in luck because today we're talking about 15 different treatment options for this common condition. Sure thing. Let's dive into some more details for each of these 15 ADHD treatment options, with a cool and trendy style, voice, and a ton of information. 1. Medication. Stimulant medications, such as Ritalin and Adderall, are often prescribed to help with ADHD symptoms. These medications can improve focus and decrease impulsivity. It's important to note that medication may not be right for everyone, and it's important to work with a healthcare professional to find the right medication and dosage for you. 2. Behavioral Therapy this type of therapy can teach individuals with ADHD strategies to help them better manage their symptoms. For example, a therapist may teach a child with ADHD how to break down tasks into smaller steps, or teach an adult with ADHD how to prioritize their to-do list. Behavioral therapy can be done one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. 3. Counseling. A therapist or counselor can help individuals with ADHD work through any emotional or social issues that may be related to their condition. For example, a counselor may help an individual with ADHD who struggles with low self-esteem, or a therapist may help a family with ADHD cope with the stress of the condition. 4. Parent Training Parents of children with ADHD can learn strategies to help them manage their child's symptoms at home. For example, a parent training program may teach parents how to set clear rules and consequences for their child's behavior, or how to use positive reinforcement to encourage good behavior. 5. Occupational Therapy an occupational therapist can teach individuals with ADHD how to better organize their environment and manage their time. For example, an occupational therapist may teach a child with ADHD how to use a planner to keep track of assignments and deadlines, or teach an adult with ADHD how to set up a home office that is conducive to focus and productivity. 6. Social Skills Training this type of training can help individuals with ADHD improve their communication and social skills. For example, a social skills group may teach children with ADHD how to take turns in conversation, or teach adults with ADHD how to handle criticism and rejection. 7. Academic Support a tutor or special education teacher can help individuals with ADHD succeed in school. For example, a tutor may work with a child with ADHD on reading comprehension, or a special education teacher may teach an adult with ADHD how to take effective notes in a college class. 8. Mindfulness Techniques Practicing mindfulness can help individuals with ADHD stay focused and reduce impulsivity. For example, an individual with ADHD may practice mindfulness through meditation or yoga. 9. Exercise. Regular physical activity can help improve symptoms of ADHD. Exercise can increase the production of feel-good chemicals in the brain, called endorphins, which can help improve mood and focus. 10. Sleep management. Ensuring that individuals with ADHD get enough sleep can help improve their symptoms. For example, an individual with ADHD may make sure to have a consistent sleep schedule, avoid caffeine and electronics before bed, and create a relaxing bedtime routine. 11. Nutrition. Eating a healthy diet can help reduce symptoms of ADHD. Eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean protein, and avoiding processed foods, can help improve focus and energy levels. 12. Alternative Therapies Some people with ADHD may find relief from symptoms through alternative therapies, such as acupuncture or neurofeedback. Acupuncture is a traditional Chinese medicine technique that involves the insertion of thin needles into the skin, and neurofeedback is a therapy that uses sensors to monitor brain activity and help train the brain to function better. 
13. Support Groups Joining a support group can provide individuals with ADHD a sense of community and a place to share their experiences. Being in a support group with others who understand what you're going through can be a huge source of comfort and validation. In a support group, you can share tips and strategies for managing symptoms, and get support from others who are going through similar experiences. 14. Technology There are apps and other forms of technology that can help individuals with ADHD stay organized and focused. For example, an app like Focus that will plays background music that's specifically designed to help people with ADHD concentrate. Another app like 3030 allows you to set specific tasks and time limits to help you stay on task. 15. Medication-free alternatives Some people with ADHD may find that non-medication alternatives, such as therapy or lifestyle changes, are enough to manage their symptoms. For example, an individual with ADHD may find that regular exercise, a healthy diet, and good sleep habits are enough to manage their symptoms. Or, an individual with ADHD may find that therapy alone is enough to manage their symptoms. Remember, every person with ADHD is different, and it's important to work with a healthcare professional to find the right treatment plan for you. And don't be afraid to try out different options and see what works best for you. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos on health and wellness.